Project Blitz is the state legislative arm of a Christian nationalist effort that is afoot in this country right now. And it's trying to codify a far right evangelical Christian agenda in this country. It's using state legislatures as its tools. The religious right continues to take things a tad too far. This time, it was a Kansas politician who happens to moonlight as a substitute teacher. After a wildly medieval rant, he found himself in handcuffs for allegedly assaulting a student. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I'm Adrian Lawrence. Kansas City State Representative Mark Samsel, who happens to work as a substitute teacher at a public school, found himself in handcuffs shortly after going on a hyper-religious rant about suicide, same-sex marriage, and masturbation. Where to begin with this story? Let's start with his extremely offensive in-class rant, which Samsel performed in basketball shorts, a t-shirt, and trucker hat. Here are some of the high points taken from the footage provided to the Kansas City Star. Samsel said a sophomore tried killing himself three times because he has two foster parents and they're both females. Who likes making babies, he asked. That feels good, doesn't it? Procreate. You haven't masturbated. Don't answer that question, God already knows. Are you doing the Lord's work as you're listening to the devil's music? Samsel said, you are not following not my rules, God's rules right now. He reportedly told the student, you better take a Bible. And then he proceeded to push the student toward a wall while speaking about the wrath of God, ultimately grabbing the student and kneeing him in the groin, and then saying, did it hurt? Did I mention that Samsel represents Kansas House District 5, which also includes this school district? Well, he's now facing misdemeanor battery charges and is apparently barred from teaching at the school district ever again. On Friday, Kansas City's mayor took to Twitter to share his discontent with the rep's chaos, tweeting this. What the hell is going on with the Kansas legislature this session? He shouldn't just be terminated from substituting, he should be blocked from being around all kids. State lawmakers released a joint statement acknowledging the incident involving Samsel and indicating that they're gathering more information. When asked about the incident, well, Samsel reportedly told a local news outlet, I didn't do anything wrong and Topeka sucks. He also claimed it's all part of a divine plan. He posted this bizarre statement on Snapchat, according to the Kansas City Star. Every little bit of it, that's right. The kids and I planned all this to send a message about art, mental health, teenage suicide, how we treat our educators and one another. To who? Parents and grandparents and all of Wellsville. The lawmaker also told the Washington Post that he hates going to work and thinks about resigning from state Congress every day. And perhaps he should. Come on now, not everybody is fit for public service or working with children for that matter. Samsel's judgment is clearly impaired. This is a dude who argued against a bill to close the loophole for marital rape. I, I, I don't know that the, the bill here is ready for prime time, but in full disclosure, there were no opponents on this bill. Uh, and this is, my understanding, is the last of uh, what used to be uh, spousal exceptions in the law. Uh, but to me, it gets to what does the sanctity of marriage means uh, and I'm single, so I'm not the best person to speak to this, but when you do get married, uh, what does that mean and what implied consent are you giving? What kind of argument is that? What, Samsel thinks that I relinquish my right to consent the moment I say I do? Get out of here. His logic is lost, his alleged actions are junk, and his future looks a little bit bleak. Although watching him engage in more nonsense would be rather entertaining, you know, like Whitney, I believe children are our future, and for that reason, I hope Samsel resigns and never sets foot in a classroom ever again.